It affects children in classrooms around the country. Undiagnosed eye problems are the cause of many students failing to get the most out of their education. But what are the symptoms and can it be treated? David Richardson explains. Six kids in every class have got a visual problem. And most of those are undiagnosed. There's a hidden epidemic sweeping Australian classrooms. More than one million school kids from kindergarten to year 12 are suffering. Many don't even realise they have a problem with their eyes. So these kids will struggle through school being told that they're lazy or dyslexic or slow learners, where all it is is a visual problem. Now this time, if you're looking at the frog, tell me if you can see the frog coming out of the computer in 3D. Behavioural optometrist Russell Lazarus has spent seven years working with school children's eye problems. He's now discovered a list of visual weaknesses called the Secret Seven. Eye tracking is the first one. Eye focusing. One called convergence, which is bringing your eyes close to look at a book. A lazy eye. Then we have the three which are connected with the reading. So you have word scanning, visual memory and reading fluency. This is how some kids see their schoolwork. Blurred, doubled, they can't focus. I would kind of miss things if I was reading over work and in tests. I might miss like one or two words. It, would, it wouldn't really bother me at the time, but it would kind of come up later in my results. So I'll get you to just pop your chin up there, Damon. 13-year-old Damon knew he had a problem, but thought he just needed glasses. That's the way. He didn't. Damon has a lazy eye. Right, just looking at that little cottage there, Damon, thanks. I had a lot of reading problems, actually. I uh, found it very hard to get through a book quite quickly, and that's, like, a major problem for me at school because we have to read books quite often. When he was 11 years old. Violin teachers told him they could do no more to... Damon's sister, Aston, has also had eye muscle problems, something their mum, Lisa, knew nothing about. I didn't suspect there was an eye problem. That was the interesting thing. I thought the children were absolutely fine. I was actually a little bit surprised to find out that they did have eye problems. What do you think we should do next, Matt? And Lisa's not alone. Tens of thousands of children don't even realise their eye problems are unusual, even when it changes their behaviour. If you have a kid in class, can't concentrate, looks out the window, easily distracted, a lot of times that will be diagnosed as ADD or ADHD. So, in fact, it could be eye problems? Absolutely. The symptoms are exactly the same. Now, around the dinosaur, can you see four numbers? Now, one of those numbers is also going to be in 3D. Can you see which one it is? Which one is it? Number one. Number one, perfect. Once now, diagnosed with an eye muscle problem, specialists can use a combination of video games and 3D technology to strengthen the eyes like a gym workout for the muscles controlling our vision. This is fantastic. Kids are meant to do eight to ten minutes a day, five days a week. Improvements can be seen in weeks. They're reading more, they're reading quicker, so there's definitely um, very quick improvements. I've seen children um, being, being, being told, listen, you know, you, you, you're going to have to leave school at 15. Um, nothing can be done, you're just not a, a good student. Suddenly hit HSC, I've got one fellow doing medicine, another fellow doing vet science. Some school children will always need glasses, but these tests are now redefining the causes of classroom problems, identifying that hidden epidemic. So these children suffer through years of primary and high school, being told and being labelled with all these other conditions, where it's a very obvious visual problem. They've just got bad eyes. That's it. That's it. And they can be fixed now. 